So what up guys, Me here with Joy Tech back again with another video for you guys and today I got something quite random because I just purchased it at a 7-7 sale, the mid-year sale on Lazada. So I got this at a slight discount. So right here I have the Spigen Tough Armor for the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. So you might be wondering why I'm even doing this case because there are many newer models out there because yes, something new, something I want to share with you guys and also considering that I've used many many brands of cases like Winky, like Otter Box, Life Proof and so on and so forth I would like to give my comparison because Pigeon has actually dropped their price so I think this is a worthy contender in the case market so if you haven't subscribed to this channel already well hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so you get notified on the latest videos which I post there will be more and more videos coming up I'll probably be doing some e-scooter videos later on alright so without further ado let's get right into the unboxing Alright guys, so I'm back and you can see this case is for the S20 Ultra which I have here in uh, grey. So my daily case has been the auto box symmetry, you can see right here. So this case has been a really good case. If you do want to check out the unboxing, I'll try to leave it in the card up above or in the description below. So you can check this out if you do want to purchase this. So back to the Spigen case, the last Spigen Tough Armor case which I used was for the iPhone 7 Plus and in fact, I don't think it was really worth the amount because I paid 149 ringgit for that back then and i'm actually very surprised that they actually dropped the price because normally case manufacturers do not drop prices they usually increase the prices right because who wants to drop prices and make it cheaper let's hope the quality is the same or even better so at this price i think definitely the spigen tough armor is a good contender in the case market as what i mentioned before because i think this price which they are retailing at right now at uh, 40 to 50 ringgit is in fact very very cheap and if you ask me Comparing the Spigen Tough Armor with uh, the likes of the Rinke Fusion, which costs around the same price, I would take this any day because this has better features, which I'll be showing you later, like the kickstand, the foam backing, which in case you do drop it on its back, on your phone's back, it will actually cushion out the shock. So anyway, so let's quickly get into the packaging. You can see right here, Galaxy S20 Ultra. On the back, basically nothing. So there's a nice pull tab here. Nice and easy. What else do you have? So we do not have the authentication cert now, but it's fine because I bought it from the official site. So make sure you buy it from the official Spigen site because you know there are a lot of Spigen counterfeits out there and you don't want to use a counterfeit and pay the price of the original. Anyway, so the case right here. Let me take it out of this plastic sleeve. It's been a long time since I actually used a Spigen case because uh, I never had really good experiences with Spigen cases. I in fact have one for the one ultra hybrid in fact for the galaxy s10 plus and the first one didn't fit well because the phone kept on coming out of the case i do i have no idea why it was made for the s10 plus but it didn't fit that well but let's hope this fits well for the s20 ultra so these are instructions you can pause and read it for yourself so it's basically quite straightforward just snap it on and you're good to go all right so let me put that to the side okay so before we install the phone in the case let's take a look at the case itself and you see these nice foam pads um, I heard a reviewer saying that it's pretty cheap yes it's, it's kind of cheap because you can see peeling even at the edges not that great so this is the same textured foam pad as found in the Autobox Pursuit and that foam is actually pretty good it's supposed to be memory foam I'm not sure whether this is memory foam but this is pretty soft so it will definitely add some cushion to the back of your device not sure about the heating though because you know having something directly in contact with the back of your phone might cause some heating issues so anyways you can see some Spigen branding and stuff like that so all these Spigen cases are made in Korea as you probably already know so taking a look at the back you can see Spigen logo on the kickstand you can see it's uh, pretty easy to open this is kind of flimsy though but when you install your phone in it it sort of holds up pretty well so you can see this uh, matte coating actually attracts a lot of oil marks it's never going to look good again even how much i clean it it always has this uh, kind of like satin look i should say a bit of a gloss look because of the oil uh, anyways let's take a look at the sides let's take a look at the size of the case when to focus the standard affair so in terms of drop protection I should say that I'm not going to really comment much because I guess it gives adequate drop protection because it's military standard drop tested. 
All right, so let me install the phone. In the case, so very simple. I like to go button side first, actually. Let me go button side in. As simple as that. Fit and finish is uh, pretty good. Let me show you the buttons. Works well. Definitely works well. Let me put it near the mic. Volume buttons, everything work well. Nice uh, cutout for the cameras as well as the speaker, the charging port, and the microphone. Very nice, and also on the top, the secondary noise cancellation microphone. Very nice, you can see this like uh, bumpers at the corner, because inside is actually a sort of air pocket, that's what they call it. So it's, it's pretty nice. Let me show you the kickstand. So the kickstand should be much firmer now. You can stand it up right like this, so you can watch your shows, Netflix, whatever you're watching. Or even this YouTube video, in fact, if you're already owning one of these case. What about portrait? No, it doesn't work. But does it work in the, on the other side? So you get uh, two different angles. So one on this side. And on the other side as well. It's very easy to operate. Of course, on the other side, it's not so steady. Okay, you can see right here. It's kind of flimsy. But anyway, it would definitely work if you're not like, trashing your phone. Alright, so before we end this video, let me show you the amount of uh, lip you get. Let me get the camera to focus. You can see the lip right here. It's adequate. Of course, this is with the original screen protector. Not with the tempered glass. With the tempered glass, definitely you're going to be covering up the lip. So there won't be any lip. So if you do drop your phone like this, face down, that's it for your screen. Probably your screen protector. So... Definitely, I would suggest you getting something like the UAG or the Auto Box Symmetry, which has a much better front screen drop protection. But of course, this costs a lot more, so nothing to compare right there. Maybe for a Spigen case, definitely worth it, especially at the corner drops. This is adequate for a daily case. So one of the reasons which I bought this case is because of the kickstand and because I like the matte black finish as well. It just makes it look more, how should I say, simple more neat all right so this has been a very quick unboxing of the Spigen tough armor uh, i will leave the link in the description below where i bought this of course you i don't think you'll be able to get the same price unless you have uh, probably a lazada voucher or something but if you do want to get this the links will be on the description below if you want something a little more protection you can definitely go with the auto box symmetry which is which was my daily case i'll probably try this case on the Spigen case on if this doesn't meet my expectations then definitely going right back to the other box that's all for this video thanks guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and also like this video and stay tuned for more upcoming videos so that's all for this video thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video